So good morning and uh, another tech had you tip. Talked about security uh, the other week and I want to do that again. But first, I want to say thank you to new subscribers because I've been kind of on a campaign to see if people will sign up and subscribe. See if we pass that 1000 magic number. So there's been a few lately. Uh, Carlos, Eduardo, Antonio, Rocio, David, uh, Angel, Wilmer. Silvana, David, Luis Blanco, Ruben, Bonnie, Samira, Carlos, Segtronic, Luis Ivan, Angie, Pedro, Rodrigo, Olaf, Claudia, Frank, Juan Antonio, Javier, Jaime, Andres, Jose Guillermo, Leslie, Francisco, Itzel, and others. Um, thank you. So those are ones going back to January. I don't think I've done this for quite a while. So I thought I'd do that. Say thank you for subscribing. Um, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and see if we hit that magic 1000 number sometime before the end of the year. And so have I been pwned? This is a good site. Uh, it's a trust uh, site you can trust. Um, don't worry about uh, exposing yourself more because you're using this site. Put your email in there. I don't want to put my email in there and expose all my emails I have. Just did that and I had to re record. And uh, check it out. There's um, all those Facebook accounts that were leaked and lots of different sites. Um, don't panic if it shows up. Almost all of my emails show up somewhere because I've been using those emails and sites for decades. But it will give you information to think about. Um, the main thing is if your password is in any of those sites and you haven't changed the password recently um, since the sites hacked, um, you want to change it now and you want to use a password manager to do that because you want a unique, random, long password for all of your sites. So that goes back to using Bitwarden or another password manager like I talked about in the other video. Um, they recommend 1Password. One 1Password's one excellent. Um, I, I've heard really good things about it. A lot of people recommend it, people that I trust. I've never used it, so I can't really talk about it. Other option, go to Firefox Monitor or monitor.firefox.com, and you can search your email from there, which if I remember actually uses the that database, um, maybe other ones as well. You could also sign up for alerts. So if you create a Firefox account, Firefox account, I use Firefox daily, it's my main browser. You can register all of your emails in there and then it'll alert you when there's a breach of some site that has that email in it. Um, and if you're using Firefox, you'll get alerted right in Firefox when these things happen. So that's the tip for today. I hope this is useful again. Leave some comments below if this is useful for you, if you've got some suggestions or questions, um, suggestions for other videos, and thank you for watching. We're publishing, uh, hopefully going back to twice a week in Spanish, twice a week in English, Monday, Wednesday, Spanish, Tuesday, Thursday, English. And uh, I hope to keep putting these out as long as uh, people say they're useful. Thanks a lot and have an excellent week and weekend.